So in this video, I wanted to take a quick look at the Lamy ST. This is uh, one of Lamy's standard pens. In this case, I have it in a fountain pen, but it's also sold in a mechanical pencil, a ballpoint, and a multi-pen. It's not sold in a rollerball. In the fountain pen, it's sort of one of the lower to mid-range pens. It sells for about $35 to $45, depending on your country. And these are the ones, one of the ones that have been around for a while and are easy to find used. So you can often get them in the $20 range. It's very similar to the Lamy CP1 that I looked at a couple weeks ago. Uh, and they have the same designer. That's uh, Gerhard Muller. Uh, it's my best guess at it or my best pronunciation. The uh, ST is more affordable materials than the CP1 with this brushed stainless steel body and the lack of that spring-loaded fancy Lamy clip that we see on some of the higher-end pens. Opening up, we see standard Lamy steel nib and that plastic section similar to the CP1. Like the CP1, the section is extremely small, so you could just barely get a finger and part of your thumb on it. I know some people like that, uh, some people complete turn off for them. So, like I said, standard Lamy pen, classic design from one of Lamy's main or most iconic designers. Steel body, steel cap, sprung steel clip. It works fairly well, no problems with it, but it doesn't have the sort of really high-end nature of some of the other clips. Lamy has released sort of utilitarian uh, design overall, especially in the cap and clip. As for the body, again, plastic section, brushed stainless steel body, and then we have that sort of stepped in top area, very similar to the CP1 with the plastic ring around it, and that allows for posting. It posts with a nice click and there's very little seam there, but the problem with the uh, Lamy ST is that there is wiggle here. So when you're writing with it posted, sometimes you could feel a little bit of wiggle. Not a lot, like honestly, you're not going like this when you're writing, but there is a little bit of wiggle there. So gotta keep that in mind if you're someone that absolutely insists on writing with it posted. Past that, it's a Nice pen, good weight, a little bit on the light side, but not a bad weight uh, and well balanced, but you do have to deal with that very tiny section. Uh, as with all or almost all the Lamy fountain pens, the nib pulls right off and you could put on a fine or extra fine or broad, whatever you want. It unscrews and there's really nothing in there, some brass threading. And then we can see that we have a standard Lamy refill. I believe it's called the T10. Uh, I have it here in turquoise, but you could also put a converter in there if you want to put in, uh, use your own ink. This piece you could see just all plastic, nothing fancy there. It's very utilitarian. So if that is like kind of a deal breaker for you in a $35 pen, it's understandable, but functionally it's a, it's a pretty nice grip. There's very little of a sharp edge here. It's comfortable and nice to use. The main complaint people are gonna have with this is the small section as we've gone over, and then just the the narrowness of the pen. It's one of these pens that's in the uh, you know the 9.5 or whatever millimeter range in diameter, and just not a lot to hold on to. That's fine for some people if you want a slim day-to-day -day pen, but if you're looking to do extended writing sessions, then uh, these pens are just not gonna work for you. Here it is next to the ST, and I'll do a full comparison of the two in the future. Just uh, makes it a lot more cleaner to have that done in a separate video. But in case you are curious, they're very similar. The ST just uses sort of more utilitarian materials than the CP1. Uh, so here we have Lamy ST. Uh, this looks a lot like the Lamy Linea, 
So just uh, try not to confuse the two. The linea usually has uh, some sort of design pattern, like a herringbone pattern on it, where the ST will be sold in this matte stainless steel. I've read online about some people saying it used to be sold in aluminum. I'm not really sure if that's true or not. I have no reason to doubt it, but uh, I haven't seen it. And on the clip, it does say Germany on the other underside. So just keep an eye out for that. It's usually a good marker that you're getting a legit Lamy. And then if it says Germany or West Germany or whatever, sometimes you could get a better idea of the year the pen was made. Back to the writing, uh, Lamy ST, Gerd Muller, 135 millimeter capped, 161 posted. So the writing is gonna be very standard because this is that Lamy standard nib. I have it here in a medium. Uh, and I've done a number of videos with the different Lamy nibs. So if you like the Lamy steel nib, then you're gonna like how this writes, but we can do some writing anyway. So Lamy ST, and this is with Lamy ink. Uh, I believe that's how you spell turquoise. And this is always very well behaved. I like the Lamy steel nibs. There's really no flex to them, but they're just comfortable with day-to-day -day nibs and you don't have to worry about them. And then that Lamy ink is very well behaved. Uh, I used to avoid the Lamy cartridges just because they're a little bit boring or I felt like I was too cool to use cartridges, but I've been using them more. And I've been quite happy with them. I think the turquoise is actually fairly nice. Maybe not what I would use every day, but it gets the job done. So uh, I'm happy with this setup and I've been using those cartridges and this pen a fair bit, I like it a lot. Uh, this is just a Clairefontaine paper. So if that makes any difference to you. Nice nib, nice pen. I like it a lot. I, uh, having had the ST and the CP1, I have to say I tend to grab the ST more often. It's just, I'm getting everything I want from the CP1, but it's, you know, about half the price. So I don't have to worry about if I drop it, it's not a huge deal or anything like that. CP1 has this black coating and I'm always a little bit concerned. I'm going to chip it or scratch it or whatever. This is a little bit of a fancy pen. The ST is such a, just a nice day-to-day -day writer if you uh, can deal with the slim design. So that about covers it. Uh, if you like these Lamy videos, let me know. Uh, I plan on doing a whole lot more in the future if they get positive responses. Thanks for watching.